Hey parents, thank you so much for watching Wombaland Online. Have fun watching as a family and make sure to check out all those questions at the end to have an awesome conversation with your preschooler. It all starts in three, two, one. Hello friends and welcome to the Playhouse. My name is Darylin and I'm your host today. It's gonna be a great day in the Playhouse because we have some special birthdays. Happy birthday to Oliver, Ben, Talia, Rosalie, Livia and Hannah. Now today in the Playhouse, we get to listen to an amazing story, dance to a rockin' song, but before we do that, we're gonna have some fun together. And before we do that, I kinda need your help with something. See, I was wondering if we can maybe make a game out of it. Yeah? Okay, so all day long, I've been so excited about playing outside when I got home, but I can't seem to find my coat anywhere. When I got here, I found a bunch of these coats. So maybe I can find mine. And I thought it might be fun if you could help me find my coat. Do you think you can find my warm, cozy playing in the snow coat? You can help me? Oh, that's awesome. All right, let's check out these coats and see what we can find. Hmm, this looks like an interesting coat. Maybe this will do it. Oh, let's see. Oh, no, I think this kind of looks like a coat on a man that drives a big red truck. What do you think? What did I hear? A fireman, yes. I bet this is a fireman's coat. Okay, that's not gonna do for playing in the snow. Well, let me find another one here. All right. Hmm, right next to it is an interesting looking coat. Maybe this will do it. Ooh, what do you think? Hmm, what's in the pockets here? Ooh, this is interesting. Ooh, what do you think? Band-Aids. I think this would be better for a doctor, don't you think? Yeah, I don't think this will work for playing in the snow. Better take these off. All right, let's see what else we can find. Okay, let's hang this up here. What, well, maybe this one will do. Oh, let's try this one. Hmm, this is very heavy. Hey, yeah! Oh my goodness. What am I doing? I can't stop. Oh my, I better take this off. I think this is a karate coat. Yes, that won't do for playing in the snow. Let's try again. Okay, what else? Ooh, can you see this pretty purple one? Maybe this will do the trick. Hmm, I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't think I can even get it on. Looks a little too small for me. It might have worked for the snow, but I don't think that's gonna fit very well. Let's try another one. All right. Oh, I forgot about this big first one here. It's black, it's kind of cozy. Let's see. Oh, I think this is gonna do the trick. This is perfect. First I had a fireman's coat, and then we had a doctor's coat, and then a karate coat, and then kind of a little too small of a parka. This looks normal. This looks like it's going to be the perfect thing. No band-aids in this pocket. Look, I even have my cozy gloves here. My mittens. I am all ready to go play outside as soon as I get home. Thank you for all your help. I'm so excited to be here with you today because I get to share something with you. Something that I read in my favorite book. Do you remember what that book is called? You guessed it, it's the Bible. And the Bible is really important because it helps us know how much God loves us. So I was reading in my Bible all about this one guy. He was like a little guy and then there was another guy. He was like a big guy. I mean like a really, really, really big guy. And there was stuff flying all around. I'm gonna tell you all about it. So in my Bible, I read about a boy named David. 
And David was small, and he was kind of young. But David was one of God's people. But God's people were in trouble because there was also a giant. No. A giant. This giant's name was Goliath, and he was over nine feet tall. Yeah, that's more like it. This giant had a ginormous sword. <sighs> and he had a really big spear. <gasps> and he had a huge shield. Wow. God's people did not want to fight a giant with huge weapons. But David, David wasn't scared because David knew that God would be with him. Every day, that giant Goliath would yell at God's people <laughs> and he would call them names and tease them. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't think that they would be able to fight a giant and win, but not David. All the rest of the people thought that David was too young and that he was too small. And Goliath, well, he was big and he was too strong. But David knew that God was with him and it didn't matter to God if David was young and it didn't matter to God if David was small. He knew that God loved him and would be with him. He knew that he could defeat that giant if God was with him. So David picked up five stones. Can you count the stones with me? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five stones. And he picked up those stones and he put them in his pouch. And he took one of those stones and put it in a sling. And he swung it around and around and around. <laughs> And that rock flew and hit Goliath right in the forehead. Goliath fell down and David won. David knew that God was with him and loved him no matter what. See, it didn't matter if David was big or small or brave or scared because God loved him no matter what. And God loves you no matter what. It doesn't matter if you're a really great listener or if you have some trouble listening. And it didn't matter if you were happy or if you were sad or if you were a little mad because God loves you no matter what. And God loves me no matter what. Let's pray and thank God for loving us no matter what. If you're ready, give me a big clap. Dear God, thank you so, so much for making us just the way we are. And thank you for loving us no matter what. We love you so much, God. Amen. See, David was really, really small, but he did something that was so, so big. I'm going to remember that all week long. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, friends. I'll catch you next time. Bye. Wasn't that story awesome? Good. Stand up and sing and dance. When I feel sad and I need a friend, God turns it all around and helps me smile again. When I get so mad or do something wrong, he loves me still, so I sing this.
Okay, good luck.